he thought he had. Yep. Jeez, it was quick though, wasn't it? Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Off hands, it's James who's been in the thick of it. Handball's wide. Bishop it is. Around to the front of the square. Lockwood caught behind. Guerra is there as well. Chad Corns a chance. Corns goals. Port Adelaide's first. Time to get rid of it. The Bombers coughing it up a bit. Port kicked the full forward. Lockwood attacks hard. He's played pretty well in there. Saying NFL the last couple. Schofield to Corns. Good give to Francis. Lovely kick to the front of the square. Terrific mark by Carr. That was a beauty. And he's uh, set for what should be a certain goal. Does kick goals, doesn't he? He says he's done well kicking goals. We're right behind him. Puts it through. Jerry, but I tell you what, those that see Port Adelaide play every week would agree the power should sign this fella up long term. He is better than people think. It's Josh Carr. Yep. In the middle, Schofield. Quick kick forward. Corns at half forward. Jacobs leads him in the race to the ball. Corns does well though. Good tackle. Allows Francis through. Francis caught on his left. He's pretty good either side. Treadray, what a pick oh, up. Hands. Bends down magnificently. Roger James ducks, dives, goes to the left. Goal! Oh. man hunting a bit don't need to do it I don't think they've got Port under enough pressure I mean the pressure's in the game anyway but uh, they've just got to relax on it a bit Treadray's big fly Kingsley should handball to Schofield Schofield clever can kick a goal now goes for it and drills it that's the high point of the opening turn oh that really gets you stirred up doesn't it I think we're coming with to the same conclusion that perhaps he is their best option on James Hurd because uh, there aren't too many others in the side. Wellman loose in defence for the Bombers. In fact, he may get the first kick. Corns, terrific mark in the front. His hands look good today. Schofield was mentioned by Mark Harvey and he's going to find Guerra. He kicked uh, a behind in the opening turn, which was a great shot from out wide. It's a good looking kick. He squeezed it home, I think, as a goal. Didn't touch it in the first term. James backwards to the captain, Primus. Treadray caught on his left. Left foot kick at goal. Is it another one? I think it is. Everyone's back there. In the middle. Alessio got the better of it. Mercedes lost it. Wanganina chance. Got it back to Schofield. We'll have to be accurate and we'll end the end. Franco was loose. Port Adelaide to go forward. On the lead, Brogan goes to his hands and knees. Chad Corns the handball in Port Guerra under pressure from Hardwick. There's the reply. Primus over the back for Franco. Looking for Corns at half forward. Solomon with strength. Brute strength. Does brilliantly. Handball not good though. France has a chance. He can kick him from a long way out. Distance not a problem. Goal Port Adelaide. Barnard, handball out wide, to Essendon under enormous pressure, Solomon how gutsy is he, McVeigh held up in the tackle, Ramanaskis, brilliant, handball out wide, gee important stuff by Treadray on Alessio, ball in, this is as good as it gets, watching a game of footy, sitting up here, safe as we are, seeing all this go on, Essendon had no representation, Burgoyne pops it up, Corns has been marking them all day, oh! he's got it again, he's giving Jacobs a turn on here, has to kick this, must go from here, and he has, he's got two, Port go away. Dean Solomon's pushed forward, and Montgomery's gone on to him. Gee, Primus bit of holding, was there? No, umpire lets him go. He just gave it to Burgoyne. That's what you really call a give. Corns, what a purple patch. Francis loves to run and kick him. 51 Man. metres out. There's another one. Essendon now. Solomon. Solomon's loose at centre half for me for the second time in a minute was exceptional. Franco, the running Francis, it's deafening at Footy Park. It's like finals footy oh. at Treadray Marks at half forward. He's lifted as well, Treadray. Five marks for him this afternoon to the goal square. Chad Corns is the man of the moment. Can't do it this time. Stewie Jew, right foot, goal! And pick it up. Needs to go long. Port Adelaide have to be direct. Guerra has taken the second most unbelievable mark today. He took a one-hander earlier. 
normally he'd eat these, but the pressure on this kick is so enormous. And he does it easily. Four goals to Guerra. Target, and James got it. The kick isn't good for Stevens. He had to wait for it. He'll oh. have a ping. He'll have a ping. Just inside 50. It's a good ping. So many questions have been answered today. The ultimate one has been asked right now. What happens in the next two and a half minutes? Primus and Barnes. Right bounce. Centre square, Solomon. Primus, superb. Wayne and to fall forward. Tread raise at the back. He's got it. He's taken a beauty. It should be 50. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Henneman's whacked him across the head. Tread Ray has taken a magnificent mark. He's got a follow part. One goal, three to Tread Ray today. This to give Port a goal lead. And it would be very hard to see them actually losing the game if he kicks the goal. He's nervous. He's wobbled it through. He's kicked it. Port have answered the first one. One's on his line from centre half back. G slips at the critical moment. Oh, gets brilliant. out of trouble and does it again. Now he kicks it high to centre half forward. Hurd sits under it. Move from behind. It comes to the ground. Nick Stevens away with the footy. Through the middle for Port Adelaide. Up forward. Great Stuart game. G. One hand. And he's dragged it. But it's a, I'll tell you what, it's an important score. Essendon need to score twice. Lost five matches in 57 weeks. Henneman to Moorcroft. They won't give in this bomber team. Moorcroft to full forward. Lloyd at the back. Paxman at the front. Port Adelaide are going to do it. They are going to do what so few have done for so long. They've taken the biggest scalp in footy. Bruce, there'll be a bit of noise here in a minute. They could get second spot still. They're a final four chance now. The colossus of the game has been beaten. It's the best win this club has ever had. And Jared takes two to tango on the bombers. They danced all day. They did. They were right. Uh, they were superb, Bruce. It wasn't their best game because they started slowly. They. They really were down in lethargic and they just found another gear, the gear of a champion side. And uh, they'll get their chance to meet this side once again, Port Adelaide, but there's no question they have come as of age as a club.